Hi, I'm Handyman Dave, and today I want to demonstrate to you on how to lay some tile. Um, what we did was we, we removed some tile that was outdated uh, in front of this fireplace, and uh, we're going to replace it with some 12 inch tile that I have here. Um, if you're interested in how to remove tile, I've got a video called How to Remove Tile, and you can take a look at that, and then I'll show you how removing tile is done. So anyway, um, to start with, this is, first of all, this is a very small area, but what I'm going to show you here can be used in, the techniques here can be used in a large area, be it a bathroom, a kitchen, hallway, or whatever. So all that can be applied to those as well. So what we got to do in any room or area that you're going to tile, the very first thing you're going to do is measure the dimensions and determine the center of the space in which you're going to tile. And in this case, I've already done that. And uh, we've got the center marked in pencil. And oh, by the way, I just want to say one thing. In laying tile, there's a couple things you're going to need. And you, these knee pads are indispensable. you got to have them. So... Go ahead and invest in some knee pads because you're going to be on your knees a lot when you lay tile. And they really prove to be quite comfortable. So we've cleared our area and now we've determined the center. And so what we want to do is take our tile and place it in the place where we've determined our center to be. Set it down. And take some spacers. In this case, I've got quarter inch spacers. And what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a practice course because that's the first thing you want to do is lay a practice course to make sure that uh, you've got your dimensions correct and everything. So I've laid my first tile down where I've marked it. And we're going to go ahead and lay our spacers in. And I'll take another tile and set it right against the spacers. So make sure your spacers are in and you've got everything snug. Once you've done that, you can go back now and you can again verify your measurements and just go ahead and lay out a, a one course, if you will, of, of a practice run. So once we've determine that this is where we want our tile to be, then we can take it all back up and in this case what I've decided to use, and by the way I've got a trowel here, you're going to need this to spread the mastic. So in this case I bought some pre-mix uh, mastic that we're going to use. It's actually acrylic ceramic tile adhesive. Um, it's already mixed and we just pull the top of it off and take the tile on the very first one and we're going to take our trial just dig in get some of that and just spread it on there evenly and this is how I'm going to do it you could do it on the ground as well you could typically you would put the, the adhesive down on the ground, but sometimes I put it on the tile. It, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference, um, but technically you should put it all on the, on the uh, cement that you're going to tile. One of the reasons I didn't want to put it on the cement on my first lay, uh, first tile is because I didn't want to mark up, <clears throat> cover up my markings because it's important that I know where my first tile is going to be because this is going to set, that first tile is going to be very important. So after we get our tile completely covered in the adhesive, I've got both sides. Gonna lay it right in there. And once you lay it in there, <clears throat> you want to kind of 
move it around a little bit and so it's settling in real good and put some pressure and sometimes you have to put a lot of pressure because you want it to settle in good again this is my very first one so this is important now once that's settled in <clears throat> we take our spacers just place one there at that end one at this end now we're going to lay over on that side. So come over, grab my mastic, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the bottom of this as well. Got a little bit on my pants. By the way, this mastic is water soluble and it cleans with water. So we're going to lay the tile in against the spacers. And again, every tile you lay, you want to settle it in real good. <clears throat> Once that's in, <clears throat> it's not totally, I mean, it, it can be moved a little bit. So what I like to do at this point, just to make sure, is go back and look at my measurements make sure I'm where I want to be and so I'm right where I need to be if any of the mastic gets in between the tile here don't worry about that because after it dries we're gonna t we're gonna take a you can take a screwdriver or any little tool and we're gonna clean out the the mastic that's dried in between the tiles so once that's in real good, and we're happy with it, then we can move on to the next tile. Making sure that the spacers didn't slip out, and everybody's happy with that. So that's in. Okay, hi. So we're back to cutting some tile, and what I've got here is a tile cutter. I highly recommend that if you do any tile laying at all, you invest in one of these. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. I think I paid around 120 for this. I'm not sure, but I don't remember. But I do know this, that it's worth every dollar I spend on it. So anyway, I've made my uh, markings on a tile that I'm going to cut. Um, turn my tile saw on. I'm just going to run through this cut. Just like that. Very nice and straight. Nice straight piece, nice straight cut. Okay, so once you've got all the tile down uh, with the mastic, before we put the grout in, the next thing we've got to do after it's been dried, of course, and cured, um, we've got to take these spacers out. And these little plastic spacers just pop out real easy. You just take a screwdriver or whatever, a little sharp tool, and pop the spacers out. And once you've taken all the spacers out, 
then you've got to take either a screwdriver, uh, a file of some kind, and get all the mastic in between these tiles out. Every bit of debris in between the tiles has to be removed before we apply um, the grout. And then once you've done that, and you've taken everything out, it's a good idea to vacuum it and get it all vacuumed out. And once it's vacuumed out, it's a good idea to take a wet sponge and just sponge the entire tile area so that we get all the debris and any little pieces of dirt off the tile. Okay, so after we've cleared out all the debris in between the tile, the next thing to do is to grout it. And you pick a grout that, uh, they come in all different colors, so you pick the grout color you want, mix it all with water in a bucket, and you take what we call a grout float, which is this tool, and we're just dip into the grout bucket, grab some mixed grout like that, and then we just spread it in between the crevices of the tile. It looks messy at first, but the sponge process, which I'll show you in a second, is going to clean all this up, make it look really neat. And you don't want to do a real big section at a time, but you know, keep it manageable. Grout dries pretty quickly, so you want to keep moving. So once you've, once you've done that, then we take our sponge, a damp sponge, and just go around and wipe all that excess grout right up. Then you're going to have to make a couple of passes, get a bucket of water, have that ready and just keep wiping up the excess grout pretty soon starts to look pretty good pretty much that's it once once you've done all that and you've cleaned it up real nice then let it cure for probably 48 hours or thereabouts and get a grout sealer and you just we'll, we'll show that process in a second but don't apply the grout sealer until the grout of course has been cured after the grout's all been laid and put in and cleaned up and dried and cured the next thing you're going to want to do is put sealer on it a sealer is simply a chemical that uh, keeps out stains from penetrating into the grout. And I like this little applicator right here because it's got the brush on it and it's very easy to use. Just simply go along the grout with the, the applicator and go every piece of it, all, every bit of the grout all the way around and then just follow the directions on the bottle and, um, and you're all, he's all set. And pretty much that's it. And we're done.